Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. In this video, we are going to learn how to convert a CSV file to JSON file in Azure Data Factory. So once you have CSV file, you can create a multiple type of JSON files. So maybe in one of the JSON file, what you would like to do, you will have a file format, say, set of objects. So see right there, there are curly parentheses starting, then you have key pair, so name and the name is Amir here, then age 42 and car is null. And then a curly parenthesis closes them. So this is called the N object. So then you next object start with the where name is Raza, A30, and car. So you can create something like that if that's your requirement. Or if you want to create array of the objects. So see right there what we have. This is our object. And if we want to put them together in an array of objects, that's possible as well. Uh, you will be uh, we will be using copy activity in both of uh, these scenarios uh, to create these uh, different formats. Uh, now, in the array of objects, uh, you would like to have a square parenthesis uh, st at starting and at the end, uh, and then each of the object will be um, uh, separated by the comma. So that's how your uh, array of objects uh, will look like. Uh, now, let's go ahead and take a look, and we will be creating these both uh, JSON file types. Uh, Let's uh, go to the input folder or container and here is my sample CSV file. In the sample CSV file uh, what I have, uh, I have ID, first name, last name, age, skill 1, skill 2, skill 3. So I have a record for Amir and uh, then uh, he's uh, skilled in computer programming, writing and video editing. And Raza I have uh, his first name, last name and then I have his age. And he's uh, just uh, a young kid, uh, you know, he works with gaming and all that. And he can paint as well. And there is no other third skill available for him. Um, so these are all uh, the skills uh, Raza has. Okay, let's close this uh, sample CSV file and uh, let's work on our converting this CSV to the JSON file. Now, what we are going to do, we are going to go to our Azure Data Factory. In the Azure Data Factory, we are going to go to the plus sign and the pipeline and create a new pipeline. So I'm gonna bring a copy activity here. What we are doing here in copy activity, that same thing can be done in, uh, no, actually that's not true. Uh, I was about to say that's, that can be done in uh, um, uh, data flow, but that's not possible. Because uh, I was uh, struggling actually yesterday uh, to create an array of objects. Uh, that's not, uh, I was able to handle in data flow. Uh, and uh, you can create a set of objects JSON and that's easy to create in the data flow but uh, when it comes to the creating array of objects that means having this uh, square parenthesis as starting and ending with the square parenthesis and then each object is separating with the comma inside that array of objects that was not happening for me in the data flow. So if you have something on that uh, please go ahead and share the information. I tried to look for it but I couldn't find it. Anyways, so we are going to go back to the copy activity here and we are going to source and create a new linked service. So, so we'll look for Azure Blob Storage here and now in the Azure Blob Storage we are going to use CSV file. And then now we are going to create a new linked service. So we have to tell where exactly which subscription we need to use, which storage account we need, need to use. In my case it's TechWare Storage. So that then we are going to go ahead and uh, test connection. Okay, test is successful and what we can do now, we are going to go ahead and create and here we navigate to the file now. So go to the input folder here or container and sample CSV file. Hit OK. And uh, yes, uh, our first row has a header. That's good. And we should be all good here. We can preview the data if you want. Uh, so you can see that I have ID, first name, last name, age, skill 1, skill 2, skill 3. And uh, let's close this. Um, now we are going to go to the sync uh, and uh, go to the new. Again, select Azure Blob Storage. Uh, and here we will be using uh, JSON uh, because we want to convert our CSV file to the JSON. In the linked service, uh, I'm going to use the same linked service uh, and the different container. So navigate to the output container. And here uh, we will be saying OK. And uh, leave everything as it is for now. Hit OK. Now, once uh, this is done, click on open and here uh, I would like to do provide the name of a file. So I'm uh, going back here and uh, I would like to show you file pattern. So you can see right there, there are two types of it, a set of objects or array of objects. This property I could not find in the data flow. So anyways, we are going to go for set of objects first. And I have shown you already 
how the file will be looking like. Uh, the file is going to look like this, um, okay? So we go back here and now we are going to go to the our sync, open it, and uh, we will say set of objects dot json that's the name i'm giving them so you can always say customer or whatever and uh, that's it go to pipeline and uh, let's uh, debug and now it should create a file uh, with the uh, from our csv to the json and it should have a set of objects uh, for each of the record uh, complete it successfully let's go to the output uh, container and in the output container we should be seen customer set of objects uh, json file Let's click there and uh, go to edit and you can see that it has created uh, objects, uh, multiple objects, for so one for each row. So you see right there. So uh, then uh, the next uh, uh, object is this and uh, as I explained to you in the early, you are going to have uh, these sets right there. So each one start with curly parentheses and with curly parentheses and the next one. So there is no comma or anything like that. That's a valid JSON. Now, if we want to put them in an array of uh, objects, that means we want to have a square parenthesis. Uh, let's play with that part. Uh, now, let's close it and uh, now go back to the Azure Data Factory. Here, go to the copy activity. And now we are going to select uh, array of objects. Uh, now, we will go back to the open. And then here, instead of saying set of, we are going to say array of objects. Uh, okay. Now, that's our file name and we don't have to do anything else we are going to go ahead and execute or debug and it's going to create a new file for us where we will have array of objects of json uh, format that's completed now let's uh, refresh and here we have array of objects you should see square parentheses around the entire thing right there see right there and then each uh, set of uh, object will be separated by comma and the same thing like in the, when you write an array anyways you always have like this is your array and then you have a value one comma value two or value three or four and all those kind of things separated by comma so but in this case we have a set of object so these are a set of object and it's separated by comma here okay so these two different uh, file formats uh, you can uh, create uh, now what we are going to do, I'm going to show you one more thing, how uh, copy activity reads them. So let's say if we read a, a array of objects or a set of objects or files, how exactly this uh, copy activity read them. I'm going to create a new pipeline here. And in this pipeline, I'm going to use the copy activity. So right there, go to source, new, and add your blob storage. And the JSON file. So now we use the same linked service because we know that that's where our file is. And first of all, I'm going to read the set of objects JSON file. And if you remember that with the set of objects JSON, we don't have the square parentheses. Remember, square parentheses are for array of objects. Now, if I preview the data here, you are going to notice something different. You see that when it is written and the copy activity is written, it already add in these square parentheses around it. So it is treating this set of object as array of object. So that's the one difference I found out when the re copy activity reads them, it is going to read them as array of objects so or present this data as of array of objects. So if I change, go to the open back, and then now we say array of objects file that will be come in, uh, in the same way. So if you preview the data right there, so it is coming uh, like this. So here in uh, when we go back browse to the set of objects, uh, it uh, if you preview this data, it should be coming as just the set of objects, but it is coming as the array of objects. So, so copy activity does that when it is reading the JSON file. So it read them pretty much a set of objects or array of objects in the same way. It's going to uh, uh, read them and uh, then you can further apply uh, conversions or, you know, uh, maybe write to CSV. Let's say if you want to write to CSV. So you can go to blob storage and here you will say CSV and uh, and now you can select okay fine uh, first row in here we will select output and uh, hit okay 
and uh, now uh, we can simply provide our file name I'm gonna say here uh, this was not part of life <laughs> I just uh, I came up with the like oh, I was testing something uh, so uh, converting JSON back to CSV okay so we can dot txt or csv or that it doesn't matter right so we can execute uh, this uh, pipeline now and uh, let's see it is going to read uh, this uh, uh, remember that it's going to read this data that's uh, set a customer set of array objects right so it's going to convert that to the csv file again so let's debug and see okay now we can go here refresh and uh, if you see that convert JSON back to the CSV, yeah, it uh, just worked fine. So no problem at all. Now we can also do the same thing. I'm gonna delete this file and uh, then simply go back to our uh, pipeline. And here where we were reading uh, um, our set, uh, set of objects, uh, we can also read the array of objects. Uh, so that should be just fine as well. So we can execute uh, our query, sorry, pipeline again, and it should uh, read the uh, array of objects, uh, JSON file, and convert to the CSV. So we are gonna just wait for it, and the file should be created. So we are gonna refresh, and file is created. Let's take a look on the data. Okay, so same CSV format, whatever, you know. Even you read from set of objects or area of objects JSON file, it's going to create the same CSV file. So I hope uh, these are different tips uh, or the way I experiment in front of you. This is going to help you to create uh, your uh, uh, JSON file with set of objects or array of objects uh, from the CSV and also revert them back uh, in whenever you needed it. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe my channel and I will see you guys in the next video.